Today, we're going to look at vintage valuable ashtrays that can sell for some phenomenal money, just like this skull and glasses right here. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about vintage ashtrays, something that I do sell and grab up anytime I can if there obviously is some value in it. Here's one that I've run into many, many times, the skull. Now, the skull has glasses that you add on, and the glasses have a holder for a cigarette. So you can actually hold two cigarettes with this. We usually get $25, $35, even $40, $45 for some of these, depending on who makes it. Let's take a look at some other valuable ones that are out in the wild that you need to be looking for right now. Now, ashtrays come in all shapes and sizes. The figural ones, the ones that look like a person place thing or something along that line, usually sell for the most. Now, ashtrays that were only made for a specific building or club will also go for a ton of money. This is for the 21 Club in New York. It was a jockey club from what it looks like. This is from one of the buildings, from one of their halls. This one went for over $800 for this ashtray. Now, this one obviously is in immaculate condition, but I've bought some that looked really awful. They were nasty looking, dirty, caked on with junk. I've cleaned some up that turned out to be just priceless gems that sold for hundreds of dollars. Found in a garage, in a basement, muddy area or anything else like that, it doesn't matter. Many of these can be cleaned up and still sold for some excellent money. A lot of people don't want to touch these because of the smoking tie-in, obviously, to them. But the money is there without a doubt. And here's a cattle in a Bakelite ashtray. Now, many people may think you can't make them out of that, but they've made ashtrays out of pretty much anything you could imagine. Now, you wouldn't want to put out your cigarette in something like this, but they sure as heck did make them. Very expensive, almost $800, as you can see. Fine example. Now, just the piece of Bakelite itself is worth some good money. Some people will buy cut pieces of Bakelite and actually make jewelry and things out of them right this very minute. Now, just like anything else I sell, I love items that have cross-category interests. The more categories an item can be listed in, usually the better the item is. You have more opportunities to sell it when you can list it in three, four, five different categories as opposed to just one single category. Now, this is a tie-in. This is a dealers-only mobile oil Pegasus ashtray. The actual bin where the ashes would go is in the shape of their shield, the emblem, and there is Pegasus. Now, when this says dealer only, this would have been available to the dealer at their gas station. So if you were smoking or there was a little diner or something like that, this is what you would see sitting on the counter, advertising the gas. These advertising pieces are usually the highest dollar ones of these flat table sitting style ashtrays. There's a ton of designer ones too. We're not going to delve too heavy into that, but I would just recommend that you know what the symbols are, you know what the markings are, like this Gucci one here. 475 bucks on this one. This isn't a one-off. There's many of these sorts that are up online that have sold. Most of the major designers also made ashtrays. These are modern, could have been made in the last 10, 15 years even, and they still carry this sort of value. Now, one of the ones that most people miss are these just cheapo looking glass ones with just some random place on them. Now, most of them won't be worth very much. This one here had 12 bids. It went for 473 bucks because of where it's at. Well-known place in an oddball city. California ashtrays are also highly sought after, like Tahoe. Specific Tahoe ones can go for hundreds of dollars just like this one here. Route 66, famous places that uh, haven't been around in 100 years. All of those sorts of things go for some good money. This would probably date to the 1930s or 40s-ish. Still a very nice example. Now, this one's a newer one, too. This is marked as a prototype, and it's fairly new, probably from the 90s, the way it looks. Not many of these were made, probably just a handful. Now, this says Mr. Punch. This is Punch and Judy, the little puppets that have been around since, like, the 1860s and 70s. Still very, very very popular. This was made by the General Cigar Company. Any of these sorts are worth some decent money. Even if it was messed up or had some issues with it, it would still sell for some good money. Went for over $400. Here's another one tied to the auto industry. This is an REO automobile company. Now, REO Speedwagon was named after the REO cars, if you didn't know that. 
350 bucks for this very rare example here. Most of this sort of thing will sell pretty much immediately for top dollar no matter what. There's just not many of these around. Just an excellent example of something like this. Now most artistic styles can as well be represented in ashtrays. Here's an Art Deco one. Very, very unique. Machine Age they're marking and it's got a metal robot and it's titled Iron Fireman. Very, very well done. Very unique item to say the least on this one here. Over $300 as well. Really, really fine example. As I said, cross category interest. Every one I've showed you pretty much has cross category interest. You've got the tobacco area, ashtrays, uh, machine age art deco this is advertising as well orkin so there's many many different areas these could go into auto from orkin this is an earlier one probably 50s or so maybe even earlier than that i'm not sure how far back this one goes but it is early it is rare this one they probably only made a handful for the whole country maybe it was even a giveaway or a promotional item it's hard to tell 343 dollars with 16 bids Here's another one with cross-category interest. This is Mickey Mantle's Holiday Inn. He owned this one from what it looks like. So that would be his image on the ashtray as well. There's a business card it looks like with it. Excellent example of something like this. This one sold for almost $300 plus shipping. Nice example of a cross-category item. Sports-related, Holiday Inn-related, travel, tourist. You also have Joplin, Missouri, and tobacco, cigar, ashtray collectors as well. So there's at least four categories this specific item could sell in. Now, just like so many other items I sell, there are hotel ones, transportation related ones, all different sorts. So if you know your transportation, your hotels, your names, your cities and things like that, you can do extremely well with stuff like this. This is from the Mayflower Hotel from Washington, D.C. I've had spoons, postcards, brochures, um, luggage labels, buttons from the uniforms. Here's an ashtray from this very same hotel. So once you know the hotel that it carries a value Anything with its name on it can also carry a value. Double, multiple category interests as well. So it could be in travel. It could be in hotels. It could be from Washington, from a specific city. Again, back to ashtrays in the tobacco section. So excellent item here as well. Another area that I love is military stuff. This is from World War II. This is a U.S. Navy destroyer, a figural ashtray. May have been a souvenir. It may have been something that was available on the ship. I'm not really sure. This may as well be an award for, say, metal scrap collection or something along that line. Many times they gave out prizes for groups or organizations that collected the most scrap metal for the war effort. So either way, $200 is an excellent item. Now, all the ones I've shown so far are tabletop ones. Some of them come on stands and can be, again, from specific places or businesses they could have tie-ins or advertising purposes as well this is wellington stone golf parlor this was inside of a very specific building golf related without a doubt you can see the clubs the whole works on here really nice example this one sold for almost two thousand dollars as well really really unique any of these sorts i would nab up i don't really worry about how to ship them or anything like that these sorts of things are well worth the investment into your time to ship bigger items ship them ups or whichever way you feel comfortable with here's yet another ashtray stand this one's again a floor model now at the top it has a ship this could actually be from the mayflower hotel in washington dc as well it's really hard to tell on this one this mayflower image you see here is the same one they use basically on the uniform buttons for employees at the mayflower hotel so all of these sorts of things can be found from hotels steamships train depots and stations and all that sort of thing really unique really interesting item either way around a thousand bucks basically on this one also and here's one last example from canada that sold for a thousand bucks it's a chromed art deco airplane ashtray the airplane image these chromed ones were highly sought after even back then all of these go for some good money it's another stand example as you can see here the whole thing is immaculate very very fine example here 
there's a spot to put matches and other things also on the base section here. It's like a little table almost for your doodads and things like that. Really, really fine example. Most of these two, the propeller will spin. Some of the ones that the propeller doesn't spin on could be newer versions also. Not necessarily always, but I do notice that the really early ones, the propellers all seem to spin. Now, I'm just showing you some of the more sought after ones. There's thousands and thousands of ashtrays that can sell 30 to 100 bucks all day long if you know which ones to look for. If you're out there digging, if you're researching those, you can make a lot of money just selling ashtrays. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. you against the Cobra. The Hot Wheels Cobra stunt set. You put it in coils, slippery straights. You can take it on with your Hot Wheels Cobra race car. You want to go first? Sure. Okay. I'll show you how it's done, and I'll make it even tougher. Super. Hot Wheels Cobra stunt set comes with Cobra race car and eight feet of track. Some cars not for use with some sets. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel.